Hi, welcome to Wings Academy. I am GK here. Today let's see how we can prepare for NET and GATE exam. Here I given you particularly for a chemistry but it can apply to any other science namely physics, chemistry, computer science or life science. It's a general preparation method you can apply to any of these competitive exams. So let's start with schedule. So schedule normally divided into four types. So seven days, four types. So first one is studying. You have to study always new concepts. For that you have to allot four days a week. And second important thing is revision. Revision is for maximum returns. And what you study, you should keep in your mind. The revision will help you to hold more memory. So you have to allot one day a week. And very very important thing is question solving everybody keep studying keep revisioning but nobody is uh, solving the questions uh, solving the question is a practice it will help you it will alone will get through the exam because uh, everybody study everybody revision the practicing will give you the time frame practicing will give you the thinking frame the practicing will give you the overall analytical ability to you so give much preference to question solving a lot one day in a week and one day should allot for a holiday because you should recharge yourself psychologically as well as physically. So both are very important, it will help you to charging you up and it will push you through the next week. Otherwise you keep tiring yourself or keep depressed. So I strongly recommend you should have one day or if you feel one day is too much, you can give half a day holiday too. This four days a week can be further divided into two sets like uh, there are the, uh, you may see in the syllabus that there are the long topics which require more time and more effort there are the short topics which requires you know very few days of preparation so for the long topics you should allot three days per week in chemistry terms it's a mechanism mechanism is a lifelong thing it take months to understand months to study but the small topics it occurs less time and uh, it will Cover, it will help you to cover the syllabus, example biochemistry. The, if you don't follow this three days long schedule and one day is for the smart topics, means the small topics, the reason is that it will help you to cover whole exam. Suppose you study only the long topics, you means you don't have time to study the small topics. Small topics also, you know, will help you to answer the question because everybody study the topics they like, they don't study strategically. This strategy will help you to cover the entire syllabus in whole, whole months of your preparation. So covering whole syllabus is possible, covering whole syllabus is mandatory in any exam. And this is the daily schedule I made for you. There are two types of people normally. One is a working or studying person. Suppose you are studying in masters, so you want to study. For them ideally the 3.5 hours per day is possible because they come to home at 6 o'clock they can study up to 9 or 10 so you should allot one slot two slots like one slot is with one and a half hour and 15 minutes for a revision and the second slot you can give some 15 minutes cap and start the second slot and give so the same thing apply to full time preparation they should study 8 hours per day 8 hours per day means at least 8 hours per day they have to divide it into 5 slots the 5 slots is, is like same one one and a half hour is for studying and 15 minutes for revision. The fifth slot here is the key. The one hour revision for all four slots. The revision is magic because revision will help you to, you know, help you to retention, help you for maximum retention of what you study. So normally people used to say, so revision is magic. Normally people are saying in all coaching centers that no revision means not studying. So no revision, not studying. So you should keep it like a mantra to you. So here I made a specific slide, the importance of the revision. The revision, so suppose you revise the topic one time, two times, three times, four times and five times. So what happens really? First time you start with, first time you start with like uh, memory of very little memory you will have. Second time you start with a little bit better memory, that time keep going. But fifth time or sixth time or more than fifth time, you start with almost 90% of your retention. So the revision is the key, revision is the magic. Now again I am saying no revision is not steady. So you have to keep in mind. 
the important thing is the way after every slot you study and solving the question i made separate slot for this because solving question you should practice and practice and practice the solving means first you have to solve je examination everybody know it's a giant tendency exam for iits and all it give very much fundamental understanding to you because it cover all the fundamental very thoroughly and with full depth and you have to solve jam question jam is for masters in iit so it will give you a standard means it will help you to cover whole syllabus with the broad knowledge third net and gate question you have to practice this is for depth and you have to understand the nature of the gate and net so normally the solving question is considered as the calibration of your understanding if you don't solve you don't calibrate your understanding even understanding needs the calibration so calibration you should know so the another important thing is note taking everybody should understand that notes make you you know very much push forward in the ranking because notes convert the 300 pages into 40 pages so if you are good with note making you can convert it to 10 pages so the important concept here is very the important concept is very minimum pages you should try it. here clarity is very much important and you have to make definitely you have to make formula bank you have to consolidate our formulas which help you to solve problems so you have to consolidate and keep it as separate part in your notebook and recently people are start using mind maps if you are comfortable with mind maps you use it otherwise you can remove it too and i strongly encourage encourage you to use diagrams and images because diagram and images it will reach your mind and understanding very easily and it will help you to retain more data in a small amount of space in your head so use diagrams and images is a very important message so take your notes so normally the materials you have material you should have for the preparation the standard thing is pre year question you should have normally 10 years people are recommended i will recommend uh, you collect how much you can how much possible by you and the second thing is like one or two standard books don't study every books in the particular topic in organic chemistry if you study there are hundreds and thousands of books you keep reading when you wasting your time without covering all the topics so you have to keep one or two or possibly three standard books for quick reference and you have to have mock test or you can use previous year question too the mock test help you to practice the problem this last month you should only practice mock test in the particular time because people don't consider time the time also very much important so mock test is the key here and some of the tricks i am giving you this will help you uh, to study help you to memory the one thing but very unusual thing is record and listen the tough topics need revision more and more but reading make you very tiring and stuff so record whatever you study suppose you study the record drugs and use suppose you see paracetamol it's for fever so you record and keep listening and listening listening and again it's a revision but simple form of revision you don't use your eyes only use your ears your ears so you will get less tired you can cover more topics or i strongly encourage you to record periodic table and listen so periodic table will help you to solve the fundamental problems in chemistry so you record the entire periodic table by reading and keep listening again and again it will help you to solve the basic problems in the chemistry so you can do any topic whichever you wish the difficult to memorize you record and listen four or five times you listen automatically will come to your memory and another trick is acronyms acronym means you use a small let a group of word letters to understand a concept suppose people normally confuse what is oxidation so easy thing is leo leo is a kind of word tiger leo is kind of a lion leo is a lion so leo means loss of electron is oxidation so loss of electron is oxidation so it's simple to understand leo loss of electrons there are many many things you can abbreviate in your own term or you can abbreviate in your own language too so these are the things so use acronyms another is acrostics the very few people use this but this is a very effective thing you use the first letter words first letter of a sentence to understand the big concept here 
normally the electromagnetic spectrum is common for any discipline physics and chemistry but difficult to memorize first energy by range energy gamma will come and x ray will come second uv will come third visible and keep so on but difficult to memorize but use the acrostic word good xylophones use very interesting musical rhythm the first letter of the word is a key to you so g represents gamma x represent x ray and so on so you use this kind of sentence to memorize the lengthy things or the order of the things gamma is a high energy here radio waves is a low energy here so you can make anything you want which is in order you have to memorize me you use this kind of acrostics so one thing i want to note is the desirable activities for any preparing student so normally i encourage you to go with your friends study with your friends to help you to clear your doubts to also you to relax yourself so speaking is normally relaxing keep studying make you tired so speaking with others will help you to study the another important thing is teach what you study because teaching will check all of your understanding to also it's kind of a revision but best form of revision and best form of learning so i strongly recommend you to teach so the another thing people normally don't practice this one this is a create your own question and solve because question creation also need much intelligence so you have try to you have to try to solve and you have to create your own question means like question creations you you have to see some net question you try to create similar kind of question from what you study this will help you to understand the examiner mindset you have to understand the examiner to answer the question so in this way you can guess the questions like what kind of questions come this one particular topic so i encourage you to follow all three but support up to you to follow the things so the final slide is stay healthy so this is a thing may most people ignore so you should, your health should be very good to for your long term success so i encourage you to use fruits and many people study overnight and miss the breakfast so you should not miss the breakfast so we should take some strong food in morning to cover the entire day and another thing is you have to do some relaxing exercise or yoga for 20 minutes in early morning to keep yourself relaxed keep yourself stretched and keep the blood flow going so these are the things i want to share with you so good luck for your exams